Hi, it's Allie with WCR. We're going to learn how to fill your nitrogen shocks with the high pressure fill valves. So step one, we're going to tighten this uh, nut against the Schrader and the reason for that is because it rides right on these threads right here. And when you go to put your high pressure fill valve on, there is a chance that if you butt it up against this nut, it will strip out some of the threads. So we're going to tighten this with the wrench just so that it's nice and snug. And then we're going to remove the yellow cap so that we can install the fill valve. So obviously this blue part here is what's running to the nitrogen tank on your fill valve. And then this T-handle, you're going to want to make sure it's backed all the way out because it will put pressure on your core, which you don't want. And so if that's all the way out, you can go ahead and install your high fill valve onto there and you're going to want to use your wrench to tighten that on. So once your high pressure fill valve is installed we're going to back the nut off of your high pressure Schrader valve and I'll show you what that does. When you're backing off the nut here you can see that it is opening and that will allow the nitrogen to fill into your shocks. Now you don't want to tighten these against each other because as mentioned before, that will strip out the threads in between the two. So you just wanna make sure that this is nice and loose and that this is snug. So once your nut is backed off and everything is tight here, you wanna start putting in your T-handle. That will depress the valve core inside of the Schrader valve and you can start filling your shocks with nitrogen. So once your shocks are full of nitrogen, you just want to tighten this nut back up and use your wrench to give it a little snug. And once that's done, back off your T-handle and remove your high pressure fill valve. And you'll probably hear some nitrogen escaping. It's just coming from the lines just allow it to bleed off until it's done and then remove it and don't forget to put your yellow cap back on that'll prevent any dirt from getting into the core and possibly into your shock just as a note uh, some of the Schraders do not have a valve core like you'd find on a typical tire uh, that's okay this is normal uh, and some of them will